Aloha guys, this is Scuba Chris, and you are on the right channel. This is actually the Hungry Fisherman, and what I'm doing is, this is one of the earlier prototypes of the rod I helped design for Akuma. And this is the uh, Hawaii Custom Series. This is the 13 foot 3 inch model. This here is rated for 20 to 50 pound test line, and um, it is a surf rod, all right? Um, this rod here, you, it's been um, rated for, let me see, what is the rating for this? 120 to 250 grams, okay. That means it's rated to throw lead that's 4.2 to 8.8 .8 ounces. So we went to four, four prototypes of this rod. Now, we came out with the final. The final version is not much different than this. What we did is we added more weight to the butt section and we moved the reel seat up by three and three quarter inches, which means is that you're gonna get a little bit more oomphing power when you when you bring it in. And when you actually when you're tossing it, you're gonna actually get more of a recoil action. Alright, so I have a couple of the blue prototypes. I'm gonna give them out to some good friends of mine who have always been there for me. One of them is my friend Thomas here of the Hungry Fisherman. And um, this is gonna be dedicated for him on his channel for his exploits out there in the wild. Hello guys, this is Scuba Chris. I'm on location at Chocolate Beach with my good friend Thomas of the Hungry Fisherman. And I have something for him. Here you go, sir. Thank you very much, Chris. So this, I, <laughs> this is a, our 13 foot Okuma surf rod. Yeah. and. Uh, I'm, I'm really truly blessed and happy that Chris is gifting this to me. It's unreal. Like when I first saw it today, I was like, "Oh, that's a really pretty rod." And to know that it's, you know, well made, you, you can't beat that. And to have Chris, you know, he's he's a legend in the islands. You know, <laughs> <laughs> he is. At least on Oahu, I know that. Um, but he's taught me some stuff. He's gifted me with. Uh, He's, in fact, he's the one that told me about the OBB CHL grubs, and those are my go-to for Papio. So if anybody knows, check those out. Um, but like I said, I cannot be more happy with this with this pole right here. And he's giving me the the pole butlers and a bell buddy to go along with it. I mean, all I got, all I need to do is buy another reel. Yeah, then you'd be all set. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's going to be mad. Oh, yeah, probably. But, hey, just tell her the, the rod was the free part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, no, but it's a beautiful rod. Um, like Chris was saying before, this is the prototype, which I think is fantastic. I mean, if, if, if the prototype holds up, that's what they're going to sell later on. Um, they made slight modifications. They moved it up three and three quarter. Right. Okay. And you know it's just going to make it a little bit more stiffer. But hey, here in Hawaii waters, you know, it's it's if you want to boost the fish, stiff is great. If you want to play the fish, a little bit uh, looser is great. I'm just really really happy to have a a beautiful rod like this. It's literally and it's super light. Oh it yeah, very light. Super super light. Um, like Chris said, it's 13 feet. It's from Okuma, and if you guys need a good rod, go check this one out. They also have a 14-footer, right? Right. That's and that one's rated for what? It's rated for the same thing. It's 20 to 50-pound test line, mm -hmm. and it's rated for 120 to 250 grams, which is 4.2 to 8.8 .8 ounces. Yeah. So go check it out. Like I said, I've okay, so in fact, the first time that I met Chris was at Broken Pier, right? Yes. He had to go run home because <laughs> he uh, accidentally lost his camera in the water. It wasn't his fault he got stuck line busted. He actually asked me to watch his poles and jack up anything if his poles hit. Fortunately, we got a hit. Unfortunately, it was his favorite fish, which is a puffer. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but it is literally about that big, so it's a good size one. But it was on, what, what pole was that? Do you I forgot remember? already. The, uh, I um, think it was a, it's a, the Cedral 11 foot heavy, I think. And with that, the extended spool, right, on the, the reel. Oh, you know, you got a better memory than me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I tell you what, it was 
such a nice setup, and I told him I was going to steal it from him, but of course I didn't. But um, it is really a nice setup. Okuma does have really quality products. If you are thinking about getting any new equipment, at least go try check out Okuma. You might like it, you might not, but hey, at least you got to check it out. But I want to thank you very much, Chris. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Um, if you guys haven't visited Chris's channel, it's Scuba Chris. He's got a lot of knowledge. He's got a lot, a lot of knowledge. And he actually shows you how to do certain rigs where I actually go to his channel a lot. And I go to his sometimes too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. As always, stay hungry. Thank you, guys. Hunger fishermen, uh, we're out in Hawaii Kai today. You guys see the area, you guys know where it's at. I got Taui right there and Alan over there. Um, it's kind of late in the day, it's after 10. We got a late start, but hey, the tide is high, water looks really, really good. I forgot my bell, but I still got my big pole out. We're gonna fud around in this little area over here. Um, I apologize, the last video. I did not have my mask on for the intro and the outro only because it was really muffled but while I was fishing I did have my mask on so don't think that is okay not to wear you guys' mask all right anyways I'm gonna get to fishing oh good cast bird nest a little bit oh not a good cast anyways I'm gonna get to fishing wish us luck all right all right Hi, everybody I just met um, Christian he's a subscriber long time subscriber since i think uh what do you say when i only had 300 subscribers which is f fantastic i really appreciate it thank you very much christian and um i was telling him that once the covid rules and stuff like that start opening up because we're getting close to a thousand subscribers hopefully i'll be able to uh do a live stream and then possibly a meet and greet if you guys are up for it anyway so i'm just throwing some uh bread in the water just to see if there's anything around this is my first time fishing here um i got two poles set up right there i got one facing in and my little pole facing out i'm really hoping for some oil and i'm gonna throw some bread because i know that there's palani and stuff in here from what i've seen anyways if i hook up i will show you guys what they caught Oh, careful. What is that? Ninui. Kala. Kala. Right on. Good size Kala. Congrats, guys. Anapa. Oh. Hard luck. Hey guys, this is Christian. Say hi. Hey, how's it going? He's a subscriber I was telling you guys about. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the show. I'm watching it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Some tips and stuff. But yeah, uh, super excited to be fishing with you. Yeah. Ah, appreciate it, bro. Real. Uh, so he was saying try the flats next time, right? Yeah. The flats. Where are the flats exactly? I think it's like Pico's, like out there, like you walk out low tide. From that hotel, from that building right there. Uh. It's like outside over here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, you pretty much just walk out on the reef and then 
you fish for like all year and stuff. Yeah, oh, bro. That'd be a pretty good episode. Oh, nice. All right, I'll try that next time. One on a paw. Still good. For real? Oh yeah, still good. There you go. Get him, get him, get him. There you go, right on. Puppy. What test are you using? Six. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, you better play that. <laughs> no leader. Oh, yeah, I need a leader from 15 to uh, 6. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's good size. Are you like I'm on the left or the right? Come here, come here. Oh, wait, wait. It's so strong. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, very good. Woo. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Here, let me get a picture. Ooh, nice size. Right on, thank brother. You, thank you. I have not caught anything. Alan caught a kupipi. A guy caught a eel. A couple collars came up. I don't know. Might not be my day. <laughs> Guys, that's the end of the day. I didn't catch anything. Alan caught a big coup pee pee. And Tawi caught a, a hole hole, right? Yeah. And a spoon. Uh, I didn't get any bites. <laughs> <laughs> but had one dude that caught two, no, three big collars. And another kid caught a nice size Veke. And another one caught a Oama, big Oama. But uh, the guy that caught the collars was saying that the bite was on in the morning, so. You know, it is what it is. But we're nearing a thousand subscribers. So just letting you guys know now that when we do hit a thousand, I will be doing a live stream and I will be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure what yet, but the closer we get, the better I'll know. Anyways, guys, as always, stay hungry. Hey, guys, I almost forgot. Um, we are nearing that 1,000 mark. This is a great present for me from Chris. Getting close to that, I really appreciate it. Um, I will be doing a giveaway. There will be three winners of this giveaway. Possibly four, but I guarantee three. Um, so the closer that we get to 1,000 and I can do a live stream, once I do that live stream, I will explain all the rules of the contest for the giveaway. It will be dual international lures that they're actually sponsoring that giveaway. Dual international will actually be sponsoring that giveaway. So help us, share it, subscribe, everything. Get us to 1,000 so I can hook you guys up. I gave Chris a dual international lure today. I'm waiting to see the pictures that I get from him. 
But anyways, again, guys, please be safe. And as always, stay hungry. Thank you, Chris.